the library, you'll be winning soul in the exam hall, you'll be enthroning the Lord. And of course, when your result come out, you are one of the best. They would like to be your friend. Yes, brother, finish reading that verse for me. Those who have read widely in many fields uh-huh. are well informed. Well informed. Alert and sensible. They are alert and sensitive and sensible, yes. And have enough poise to look good around the palace. They have what? Enough poise to look good around the palace. <laughs> they have enough poise. Oh, boys. <laughs> you see? They have enough boys to, to look good around the palace. When they come around the palace, they are respectable. You bring them in, people will just respect them and say, Oh, this man. Praise the Lord. That was the qualification. Let me ask you. Is it difficult for us to meet that qualification here? Who do you think is best poised to have that kind of qualification? Eh? He's a child of God. You don't smoke, so you don't have bad breath. The boy that is smoking, you can't stay with him for five minutes. You are not drinking. So your eyes can't be red. You will always look gentle. Hallelujah. You have not aborted two, three times, so your stomach has not distended. So you are in good shape. So even if a governor needs somebody we can say yes. Take these three brothers, sisters. They will handle your case for you. Huh. Now, all of this, if it is not a recommendation in the Word of God, we will have said, forget it. They are. So you see, many times you think that what what we are talking about is uh, dress, <laughs> just dress shabbily. So, many of you are reacting. No! I want to inform you that it is indecent dressing that your, your skirt is at this level. Do you know why? If you appear before serious-minded panelists, they say, this one is not serious. She will spend more time looking at herself than doing our job. But when you enter a place looking confident, you come in, you say, good morning, sirs. You don't need to be doing like this in order to sit. No! You sit down and you put your leg like this. No problem. They say, huh, can we talk? And when they are talking to you, you are not looking down like this as if you don't know what you are doing. You look to them right in the face. Honest confidence. But that doesn't come anywhere else. It comes from a heart that is attuned with the Lord Jesus Christ. What am I dealing with this morning? License. If we are going to get you to become a cult for the king, you've got to get this. Now I'm reading further now. And the king appointed them. So among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So they were part. So let me ask you, before they could choose four of these brothers, 
it was a national contest. Was it a national contest? Did they contest with thousands? All right. Friends, prepare to win national contests. Prepare in your heart to win international recommendations. The reason why I'm saying that is this. We will need you to carry Jesus into serious offices. We will need you, we will need ambassadors in offices where nobody could enter. And a child of God is there dealing with things from their rudiments. Bribery and corruption was only possible when standards were no more adhered to. And some of you are thinking that that's how Nigeria will continue. It's not so. It's not so. I see a Nigeria where righteousness will prevail. I see a Nigeria where when we apply for jobs, it is no more tribalism that they are looking at now. They will be looking for merits. I see a Nigeria where truth and integrity will become the recommendation. It's going to happen. We are already now at the threshold of that new beginning. And in a few years' time, it will have overwhelmed the land in the name of Jesus Christ. But presently, we don't have enough candidates. Presently, we don't have enough candidates. I do hope you know that even though jam is so difficult and people say jam, jam them, jam, jam them but I have proved that if I have children Christian students who determine in their mind that I'm working hard I want to get something from 280, 300 and above do you know that universities will be, they will be falling over to give you admission? Eh? Some of you don't believe. You know the point is that ever before maneuvers can take place, even the people themselves, they are reasonable enough not to tamper with an outstanding candidate. They know. What made you to give us problem is that you don't have outstanding results that we can tender anyway. When you come with something that uh, and then we have to be begging and say, hey, bro, please help us with something. Then they say, well, you are always preaching that, uh, that uh, uh, didn't Jesus say that you should give Caesar to Caesar what uh, belongs to Caesar? Then we are in problem. Don't worry that yes, there will be some occasions of victimization. But that is not going to be the norm when we have produced more outstanding, astounding results. Praise the Lord. Right. So, how did Daniel get into all of this? Please read that chapter 1, all of you, if you see it. In verse 18, no, verse 17. As for these four children, God gave them what? Who gave them knowledge? Wow. 
So it means that God gives knowledge. So let's see what knowledge he gave them. Did he give them knowledge of Bible? Eh? Let's read. God gave them and in all and Daniel had in what? All visions and dreams. That's God. You know what God was doing? God was licensing him. At the end of the days that the kings had said he should bring them in. Then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them. And among them all was found none like Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, Azariah. Therefore they stood before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, that the king inquired of them, what was the result, sir? Found them ten times better than who? And that were where in all his realm. In all matters of wisdom and understanding, I'm so overwhelmed about that. Do you know that when we were in the university in those days, you didn't graduate unless you went for what we call Viva. That's what they call Viva. That is an oral interaction with a panel that asks you everything they want to ask you to check whether you are qualified to be admitted to the degree of that particular department. They didn't ask you particularly about your subject. They would just look at you like this and then raise one hypothetical problem. I said, supposing you, have, you find yourself in so and so place, and how do you tackle that based on some of the principles of the courses you've learned in your four years here? And they will be looking. They look at your dress, they look at your eyes, they want to check whether you are afraid, they check your English, whether when you wanted to say uh, past tense, you said future. You see, all of those things that meant much, you don't care now. Look at the letter you write. That you make a sentence and it's not grammatically correct. Those things has to be addressed. Hallelujah. Part of the discipleship that God is going to initiate you into is not just about singing and dancing in fellowship. It's about, yes, how do you tackle issues? How do you deal with problems? Can we make you a manager? And we will be at peace that God will handle the matter. So when the king asks Daniel and all of them every question, all the magicians in all his realm, he found them ten times better. Hallelujah! When you go for interviews, which you will be going, aim not at beer pass. If it just be a pass, then you give room for lobby. Praise the Lord. 
aim at an excellence that between you and the next person, the gap is so overwhelming that it will take a deliberate wicked man that when he is doing it, everybody say, Abba. Aha. Even if you didn't get that job, you have already established righteousness. Because everybody that is there, even if they decided that we don't want him, we want this one, they couldn't sleep because their conscience will keep reminding them that but we were wicked. We really were wicked. That girl we did not pick was the candidate. We were very wicked. Kai, when are we going to change? <laughs> Even if you lose the job, are you hearing me? You have already struck something. And such people may never survive until they repent. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And I have some lecturers here. Lecturers, do you know what I want you to do? I want you to walk. It doesn't take anything if you ask our Father in Heaven to give you insight into what others are not thinking about. That you can sit down here and say, Father, can you guide me into something? And as you enter into a realm of research, you, when they said we need uh, 10 papers for promotion into associate prof, uh, 15 for full professor, you are provided something like 40. You see, it is when you have not come with an abundance that you give people reason to keep misbehaving around. By the time they notice that this man is not an hungry man, see this, 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 see this. He has been quoted here, he's quoted here, this one is here, this journal is here, that publication is there, this one is there. And he said, well, just choose anyone you like. Anyone that you think fits what you are looking for, pick. Return the rest to me, sirs. God bless you. If they must promote any prof- anybody into professorial chair, and they are ready to, to, to help somebody else, you know, sometimes they are helping somebody. They want to help somebody who barely had uh, 12 For them to ignore a man who has authentic 40, do you know that even if they do, they went away with what? A pierced, a pierced heart. They say, Abba, I want to see you. Ah, we are very wicked. What has he done to us? If they didn't get a recommendation from your immediate head, they say, what, what did he do to him? Some of them will come and tell you and say, ah, wait, in, I'll go and beg him more because for my hand no deal, my hand no deal. My hand no, I don't want anybody's blood on my head. Oh. Yes, you are making a statement. But if you became so busy with ordinary things. If yourself, you are in academic, but you are not an academic, then you don't give us a right. Supposing 20 of our brothers sit in the House of Senate and a decision is going to be made and they just made face to one another and said, look, we're going to take a stand for righteousness in the next meeting. We then win.
May the Lord grant you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me push Daniel just a little one more step and then I'll leave you. In chapter 2, chapter 2 please, a problem happened. This is in the second year. The king dreamt dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him. He couldn't sleep anymore. Then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to show the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. The king said, I have dreamt a dream. My spirit was troubled to know the dream. Then the Chaldeans said to the king in Syriac, in their language, O king, live forever. Tell your servant your dream, and we will show the interpretation. The king answered and said, The thing is gone from me. If you will not make known unto me the dream, with the interpretation thereof, you shall be cut in pieces, and your houses shall be made a donkey. What kind of man is this? You dreamt your dream. We were not there in your dream. You forgot your dream. And you are now saying, look, are you not uh, astrologers who have power to know anything? You should have known the dream I dreamt. So if you cannot tell me the dream I dreamt, and then tell me the interpretation of that dream, by tomorrow you are going to be caught in pieces. And your whole houses will become a donkey. Ah! impossible task. You know, when we read things like that in the Bible, you are wondering. But, if I'm going to talk to you in practical terms, I'm talking to you about a head of department or, or your, 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 your college provost that gave you a deadline to produce a particular work and there is not enough Provision, finance, or something to do it. Normally, what did you say? He said, when he's serious, you know, there's nothing to work. No money, nothing. Are you getting me? And so you go and sit back and say, well, they are not serious. They are not serious. If they are serious, they will, they will release grants for that thing. That's okay for mediocres. But for people with excellent spirit, they take it to God as a challenge. They say, oh God, I am in charge here. How can I approach that particular project and still produce results within the deadline? Do you know that if you search into the heart of God, there is a wisdom? Uh, there's a wisdom. Sometimes when I'm in a meeting and I'm meeting with people and they're talking secularly and they complain so much, there's no money, there's this, there's nothing. Number one, do you know it bothers me? Let me tell you why. I'll tell you a, a secret. And maybe it will help you. Do you know that I, I don't have two lives? How many of you know that we have only one life? I just have only one life. When I was walking, the life that I carry to preach... It's the same life that I carry to my laboratory. It's the same life. <laughs> and I am in charge of physics department. And I need to equip my physics lab because, you know, there was a time, sir, if you remember, when we were seeking accreditation, and all the departments were to upgrade their curriculum 
and their facilities so that external examiners are coming. I mean, uh, supervisors are coming from the university to come and check us. And I'm in charge of my own department here. The man in chemistry said, well, you see, they are not serious. They are not serious. The man in biology said, when they are serious, they will give us something. Now I'm in their midst. And the way our laboratories are chemistry, physics, biology. I'm asking myself, Lord, if this were the ministry that you gave me to do, how will I handle it? It occurred to me that I will ask God to provide. Some of you didn't know that the principle I'm using here to run peace house. Are you understanding? If I went anywhere else, it's the same life. It's the same principle. It's not a new principle. It's a life. I'm going to believe God. <laughs> So I called my staff. I said, uh, I called them. They are not Christians. There is only one of them that is a Christian and is not a, a committed one that time. I said, this department, we are going to do our own thing. They said, how? As money comes, I said, don't worry about that. Don't worry. Let's get ready. So I went to pray. <laughs> Miracle. I said, Father, I don't want my student not to be able to have an accredited course. I want to present them. I want when anybody comes from anywhere, one of the first departments they must sign must be this department. Lord, grant it for me in the name of Jesus. Then I wrote. I wrote to the establishment. I said... Uh, uh, concerning equipment, this, that, 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 that. We have some tenders. I discovered that when I had prayed, suddenly, suddenly, some of the suppliers, when I sat with them and scrutinized them, I found that what they were always putting on top, which is between them and the head of the department to share. When I said, no, 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 cut off that, cut off that. This department had to survive, and I need this thing in the next two weeks. How much is your own money? Forget about anything else. And if you don't, I have another tender somewhere. And he knew that this is a different man here. And that he is likely to lose business. Everything went down. But then I brought my quotation. The boss I said, Mr. Akani, how are you able to do this? I said, no problem, sir. My things arrived, arranged everything. My colleague in chemistry said, So what did they do for you? No, not they. Him. Some of you are saying, hey, is there any father's business? Am I going to use my personal something to... No! You are there not because of them. You are representing the kingdom of heaven. When that thing was done, it became a problem for my neighbor. The question is, so how did Mr. Akane and physics, how did they do their own? So the issue changed. I said, I write, I said, I want to call for a physics teacher's national workshop. Where are we going to get money? I said, don't worry, sir, we're going to handle it. Home economics department, can you please help us make some kono and some uh, few things? We'll get some chicken and all of that. And I wrote letters all over the state. Wow. Principals of school were so excited that so we can have a space for, you know, an exposure for our physics teachers 
and the science. So they were coming, they were coming. The deputy brother said, how did you arrange this? Of course, I made him to come and open the, the occasion. And you know, big men, they like big things, especially when you credit them. So he came in, he said, we are very, very excited to have you people come here as part of our duty to continue to make input into the increase of science education in Benway State. <laughs> Good. Do you know that when they finish, and I didn't send him a bill, he wrote me a letter of commendation. So we became friends. We were talking. How did this happen? I said, it doesn't cause anything. We want to get something done here. Of course, do you think I was doing that for nothing? I want Jesus. So when the workshop was going, since I'm the facilitator and the coordinator, you know, once I said, well, ladies and gentlemen, anything you start and you don't start it with God, it will scatter. In the beginning, God created. There's nothing we want to deal with in physics except the exploration of creation. And we wanted to establish that physics is as Nigerian as anywhere else. That physics is not foreign, it's here. So we will first of all start our workshop today by taking a, a brief devotion. Even Muslim, they didn't mind. So we did. When we finished, Somebody quietly came and said, excuse me, are you a preacher? <laughs> I said, why, why? Did he show? He said, ah, this one is different. We have been going for workshop, but something is happening inside of me. I have, I have a problem. I would like to talk with you. Uh -huh. We have left the workshop now. We are talking about uh, Jesus Christ. That's okay. That's okay. They challenge you with a possible situation. Who should bring answer, if not a Daniel? They tell you to do something and there's not enough funding. Who should stand there and say, yes, we can go ahead. We can go ahead. To such a point that when someone asks, is not bringing his own quotation. You will have laid a foundation that will make his wickedness apparent. Do you understand what I'm dealing with now? How will we change Nigeria if we don't have men who are laying standards sacrificially? So, the king said, I'm killing you by tomorrow. Your whole house will become dung hill. If you don't get me my dream, I have forgotten the dream and it's your business to bring back what I forgot. The people said to him, the people said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore, there is no king, lord, nor ruler that acts such things of any magician or astrologer or chadian before. And it is a real thing, verse 11, that the king requires. And there is none other that can show it before the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with the flesh. Hey, Joseph, what you are asking for, nobody can do it. Oh, for this cause, the king was angry and very furious, commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain, and they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. Are you getting me now? 
Are you understanding what I'm talking about? I'm talking about a situation where you're in a system. Impossible demand has been laid. Several problems is going to come on everybody and it's going to affect you. Some of us are getting affected with so many problems. Our children are getting affected because we are not able to stand up and bring solution. So the Bible said, Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard. And he said to Ariok, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty from the king? What is the matter now? Then Ariok made the thing known to Daniel. Then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house. Are you understanding something now? Daniel went to his house. He told the king, King, relax. Just give me a little time. I will get you your, your dream. Did you say you forgot? He said, yes. I will tell you your dream. Don't worry. Let me ask you. Does Daniel have it in his pocket? That's what we are talking about. We are talking about men who carry the divine presence into ordinary situations and turns it around. They don't have assets, but they have access. Did you hear me? Not assets, but access. They have access to him who knows all things. I didn't know this principle until one day there was this mathematical problem that they asked us to solve and the man said he was not going to give us this book and anything and we don't know how to get it and that we must submit it the following day and everybody was confused and some of my classmates said, Baba, what are we going to do? I told them, I said, I don't know, I don't know anything. As I said, I don't know anything. Something rebuked me. So I said, why do you say like that? Did you ask me and I told you I didn't know? Oh, I said, I'm sorry. I said, oh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> don't worry. I will, uh, we, will get, we will get the solution. Just, yeah, just come. So I called those men, those my friends. I said, where is the question? Bring it, bring it. So... I got the biro and the paper and I started. I don't know what I'm going to do. I only said, Lord Jesus. They brought a question now, so how will you solve it? It's no longer I that read it, but Christ that read it in me. So and I began. And I'm hearing the man inside, the teacher inside, say this, I will write that, this, that, that. And before I know it, I have got a very sophisticated equation being released. Tony. And the young said, yes! 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 You are getting it! Eh 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 You know, it was their own eh eh that was giving me more <laughs> confidence. So I was going on. They thought that I was an expert. They didn't know that all I had was access. Access, not asset. When I got to the answer, and so I said, yes, that is it. That's the answer. That's the answer. I, I already went to check the answer. This is the answer, but I didn't know how to get it. So how did you, how did you get it? So now they're asking a novice to explain how he got it. And I say, okay, uh, Lord Jesus, how, 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 how did we get it? <laughs> So, do you know what I've decided ever since? I've never, I decided never to say I don't know. I said, bring it. We will find out. So, I will ask the Lord, Lord, how do we solve this? Lord, how do we go into this? 
if a politician comes and is talking to me about a political decision, I'll sit down there as if I've been a politician for many years. I'll sit down there, I put my leg, I say, okay, okay. Um, and I'm asking the man inside, I say, Lord, uh, this young man needs to be guided, so how do we guide him? <laughs> and he said, yes, sir. Yes, sir, in fact, that's it, that's it. Oh, that's it. It's, it's true, sir, it's true. Ah, what you said, actually, that's exactly... Uh-huh. Sorry. Access. He went back to his own house. He made the thing known to his companions. Is that all right? Who are his companions? Ananiah, Mishai, and Zariah. Who are your own companions? Do you have correct companions in your course? Christians, you are doing a course together and you couldn't see yourself as companions topping the class. Some of you, denominationalism has confused you. Then me and deeper life, and this and redeem, and this and my love word, and this one, and all of that, and then you are all just confused. Get away from that kind of thing. That's not why you are in school. You are not in school to represent denominations. You are there to carry Christ. You are there to make a difference. And if anybody is anywhere and is a child of God, and you met yourself, ah, look, let's pray over this case. Let's, let's talk to God. And then you, you, you access issues from the Holy Ghost. Then you bring issues down. And as far as I'm concerned, that, those things that you brought down, you don't hide it. You go to the class. Why the lecturer is not there? I said, ladies and gentlemen, I suppose that some of you are having problem with the last uh, lecture. So I say, yes, I don't understand what he's saying. I got his it's not with us. I said, excuse me. I got a clue to what the lecturer was saying. Do you know that they will listen? Eh? Do you know that they will listen? And then you said, I just discovered that if you, there's a textbook I discovered in the library that was useful. And do you know that while you are doing that, they forgot that you are SU. Am I right? They forgot that uh, they didn't like your faith. When you finish and they are being helped, you may not even preach that day. Do you know that some of them will come and say, Kai, thank you very much. You have really helped me. Ah, you are very nice. You are a nice person. Ah, you are a nice person. Where is your room? Can I talk to you if I have another problem? Oh, yes, 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 I'm available. But how do you read? How do you normally read? <laughs> Something is beginning now. And before you know it, you, you convert that for the king. Because it's for the king. Are you hearing me? For whom it is? So they prayed that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning the secret. And that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel when? In a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. He changes times and seasons, he removes kings, set up kings, he giveth wisdom unto, you know, all of that. So by the time, in verse 24, he called his friends. He went in unto Ariok, whom the king has ordained to destroy the wise men. And he said to him, don't kill the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king. I will show unto him the king 
his interpretation. Then Arioch brought in Daniel before the king in haste. And he said thus unto him, I have found a man of the captives of Judah that will make known to the king the interpretation. The king answered and said to Daniel, Whose name was Bethsazah? Are you able to make known to me the dream which I have seen and the interpretation thereof? Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king has demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show to the king. But there is hallelujah. That's what we are talking about. Where will you bring God? Unless you are dealing with practical situation. Did you think that the king Nebuchadnezzar will ever attend church? You are not answering me. I can imagine many of us we pray naive prayers. We are waiting when uh, Nebuchadnezzar will come to church. And then we say, everybody stand up. He will stand up. Sit down. He will sit down. Lift up your hands. Shout seven hallelujah. And he will shout seven hallelujah. You think that will happen? Even when that will happen, that will not be the first issue. That will be a follow-up. Where they will be confronted is where they need answer to their problem. Are you hearing me? Some of us don't, I don't understand whether you know. You are thinking that a governor will come, he will have time to sit in a meeting for five hours and wait for all the shake body, shake body, shake body. They will dance forward, dance backward, dance forward, dance back forward, and then. Then there will be many, many thanksgiving. And then there will be so many, many announcements. And then there will be all kinds of special numbers. And then there will be all kinds of gistings. And then you will have time there. That's why many times when they breathe in, before your message starts, they have gone. So they didn't hear any message. And so the man of God said, let's trap him before he goes. Let's trap him quickly. Let's Let's move the offering forward. Let's move the offering forward. Before. Uh, your Excellency, we know you don't have time. We really appreciate your finding time to even grace this occasion. Wrong words. But we do not want to delay His Excellency. So we just want to cut everything short. So that when the Excellency takes his leave... We can continue our worship. So we're going to have special prayer for His Excellency. And after that, we will have a special thanksgiving offering for God giving him journey messages in his last journey to Lagos. For <laughs> Then the protocol that never respected God. You'll be moving here, moving there, moving here, moving there. Uh-huh. Then the man of God thinks he's doing a very big work now. And then he said, Father, bless His Excellency. Prolong him. Anybody who stands against him, let them perish. We call fire down. Fire! On all opposition against this man. He lost you! Even find time to come to church. God, who, who honors those who honor him, please honor this man. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Your Excellency, we really thank you for finding time to come. And let's stand up while the Excellency takes his leave before we continue our service. Those things will soon become irrelevant. When God will have done such great work that excellencies will drop their calves, they will sit down in Sunday school.
Because they know that that's where they are empowered. And the word of God will gain authority. But how will it begin? Is that there will be Daniels. The result that I want to show you is what I want to talk to you about. There is a God in heaven that reveals secrets and makes known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days. Your dream and your visions of your head upon your bed are this. As for you, O king, your thoughts came into your mind on your bed. Is that not so? He said, yes. And it's to tell you what will come to pass hereafter. And he that reveals secrets makes known to you what shall come to pass. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any other living person. No. But for their sakes that shall make known the interpretation to the king and that thou mightest know the thoughts of your heart. O king, you saw like this, 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 you saw like this. This is your dream, verse 36. Now we will tell you the interpretation. You are a king of kings, Abi. For the God of heaven has given you a kingdom, power, strength, and glory. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field and the fowls of the heaven, has he given into your hand, and has made you ruler over them all. Thou art this head of gold. And after you shall arise another kingdom. So you are not forever. Inferior to you and another third kingdom of brass that shall bear rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdue all things. And as iron that breaketh all this, it shall it break in pieces and bruise. And he told him all of this. By the time he was finished, do you want to hear the result? Eh? Then the king, verse 46, Nebuchadnezzar, fell upon his face. What does he mean to fall on the face? Eh? Let's imagine how he sat before. How did he sit? Have you visited any king's palace before? And that's how they sit. Yes. But when the matter happened, what happened? He did not only stand up. He was on face. He prostrated. That's the meaning. He fell on his face. Listen. If you read verse 46 very well. And worship God. Eh? Ah! Did you see that? He fell on his face and worshiped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors to him. You know what he was concluding now? This is not a man, no. This is God speaking. This is God speaking. This is God speaking. This is the God of our fathers. He has come down to speak. So he said, please bring oblation now. Bring and offer odors to him. Now, this is the difference. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that it is that your God is a God of gods and a Lord of kings and revealer of secrets, seeing thou could reveal these secrets. Then the king made Daniel a great man, gave him many great gifts, made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon. How are we going to get Jesus to write into nations? Are you understanding what I'm talking about now? I am looking not just... You see, preaching, you are, we are going to preach. And all of you, you are going to be preachers. 
But not all of you will be preaching from this pulpit. If it is not that it was important that I need to spend time, you know, training lives and going up and down and teaching and preaching, you know, all of this, I would have just loved to be in my laboratory. Listening lives there. Very, very authentic lives. So, can you see what a prophet would never have been able to do? Daniel has done it now. Daniel did it not as a so-called prophet. We are the one who call him Prophet Daniel now. Are you hearing me? In his days, they didn't call him prophet. He was a statesman. He was a minister in government. Hallelujah. In his own time, they went for council meeting. He sat on top of the whole province. So the king just promoted him and made him the ruler over all. He said, look at that. And he made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then, Daniel requested of the king and he said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, where? Over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But look at brother Daniel. Look at brother Daniel. What did he do? Where? In the gate. The king said, I want you to be in charge. You'll be the chief of all the governors. He said, no, that's, it's not about that. Actually, I don't want to be promoted out of where I am. I want to be at the gate. That baffled Nebuchadnezzar. He said, but well, um, will you agree so that we can appoint Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego over the affairs of the provinces? The king said, Any, anything you say, anything you recommend, sign it. Sign it. I'm looking for some of you. Some of you. Who out of excellent performance your signature will get jobs for your friends and colleagues. Placing them in strategic places. Sir, lecturers, are you with me? Can you trust God for what I'm asking God for? To such a point that the VC or the chairman or council, they will say, well, there's a man in this university that the last assignment we gave him just build up the image of our university. I'm looking for some of you who will do researches that will bring serious grants to the university. Serious grants. And when you are brought it, you are so gracious to tell the, the university or sorry and say, don't worry, it's for the university. I donate it for this. They said, but who do you think can manage the grant? Okay, so, uh, recommend. And then he said, uh, Professor this, Dr. that, uh, Mr. this, uh, Dr. Mrs. that. I think they can handle this. They, have, they worked with me when I was developing the, the, the project. I think they will be useful. Um, the, the kings, I mean, the VC said, if that's what you want, so be it. Registrar, can you please cause a letter of appointment to be written to Dr. This, Dr. This, Dr. Mrs. This, Dr. That, that they will join Professor This over this. And that we don't want that grant to leave our university. Can they sack such a lecturer? I'm asking you, That each time the, the donors 
when they want to renew their grant, the person they are looking for that must sign and authenticate the project is this professor. Can religion make them to sack him? I'm not hearing you. I want you to. You see, you see the point I'm raising is this. We must become men and women that cannot be ignored. We must become men and women that you can't do without. There's a brother that each time he wanted to resign from a particular university, the whole governing council came to beg him. He said, please, you know that you are the only person that has attracted this grant to us. If you go now, we lose the grant. Please, even if you want to travel anywhere, just allow us to re- retain your name on our, on our staff list. Call me anytime when you like. Travel anywhere, we will pay your expenses. Recommend anybody you want to, 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 to deputize for you. Did you think our world is not looking for something serious? They are. But the trouble is that we have good brothers who have not brought their access to bear so they can easily rubbish us off. They can say, get, get, get them off. Hey, what are they? What are they doing? Hey, what are they doing? You don't argue. It is when they are now revealing the names of those that they are to get rid of. They say, eh? You mean he's also a Christian? Ah! No, we have to renegotiate. And sometimes you just want to threaten them for just a little while. You just try to say, uh, thank you. I learned that uh, the university does not need my services anymore. Thank you. I would like to officially and voluntarily uh, retire. But be it known to you that the grant... also stands terminated with immediate effect and uh, I'm writing our partners that um, I'm moving uh, the research onto the next place where I will be working. Uh, Signed, Professor. Do you know that the VC will call you for a chat? He will say, um, no, we don't mean it. That's not what we, we are saying, you know. It's some, some, some people that are just nuisance that we are, say, no, they are not nuisance. We are together. Actually, the issue is that they are saying something. They say, so what are they saying? What, what, let's, what, let's, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Can you represent their case to counsel? And those other brothers, they just need to hide under you. And their cases are soft. But what will bring us to that is a license. Now, I decided to deal with it this way because I wanted you to know that it is not just ordinary academics. It is an anointing, an impartation. Something that comes from God. Because you want to be a coach that the king can ride into the nation and into the nations. Do you agree with me to this point? I will not bother you with Esther now. I will deal with Esther when I have space. But I want us to stop so that we can call on God together. Did what we have done this morning Did it make sense to you? Do you want to be a coat for the king? Do you need a license to carry the king? Eh? Are you saying to God, if you did it to Daniel, 
If you did it to Aholia, if you did it to Esther, if a woman like Deborah has such strategic wisdom that everybody came and lined up before her, if where they established the kingdom was in Babylon, not inside the synagogue, why not me? Why not me? Shall we pray? When you became a child of God, let me tell you that the seed of excellence is that you shall be head and not tail. They told Haman in the book of Esther, I said, Are you struggling against Mordecai? Is he not a Jew? If he is a Jew, you shall not prevail against him because every Jew is an overcomer. Do you know what the Bible says? That whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Many times you think when the Bible says we overcome the world, you are always thinking that we are talking about some witches and we are just talking about some, some, uh, some demons. No. Say they overcome the world. Anywhere they stand, they excel. Maybe for years you've never thought that that is part of the ministry. Maybe for years you have always thought that, well, let me just get my degree and go. So you didn't mind if you just got third class degree? You didn't mind if you didn't understand anything at all? You just went to the, to the exam and just got some 40, 45, and you went away and said, well, praise God, that's all right. Because you didn't have a vision for the king. You are going to carry the king? Lord, give me the license. Ask God to there and say, release me. Release me. Release me. It's not for me. It's not about me. It's not about my personal achievement that I'm talking about now. It's about establishing the kingdom of God in the area where you are calling me to be. It's about changing, changing the situation in the country. It's about changing the designs. Rakabakondo Roboshiba. Samba Bajata Korobosko. Yerobo Santa Mama Mama Sandarabashiba. Mariba Sando Robo Sembo Robo Shinda Baba. Raka Sandarabababa. If God helped Daniel, why not you? Why not me, Lord? If they subdue their generation, why not me? Why will you be intimidated? Do you know that by God's grace, you will rule the universities? You will rule departments. You will begin to establish agenda in that particular discipline. Father, we are asking you today, we are asking for something different. 
Yekuri masando korobo sunda babakuri. Yesa, yesa. Masata yakaturi mosondoro. Mesoko toko robo sanda yabakuri. Rusiba yatakoso borobo shiba. Lord, today, today, today we are asking now. We are asking for something different. We are asking for the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge. Release a license, a license, a license to carry you, a license to enter into the world system and subdue it for the kingdom of God. A license. To turn the kingdom of God, to impose the kingdom upon Babylon. I want you to pray and say, God, Nigeria will change, United Kingdom will change, our universities will change, because Lord, you are going to get courts to ride. Courts to ride. Our banking industry will change. For you are going to get courts to ride. Ma, 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 ma. Rabo sondo robo shinda bababa. Riba sando robo sombo robo shinda. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Overcomes the world. Masata yabako robo skubi. I want you to ask God today that every spirit of mediocrity cast it out, cast it out, cast it out, cast it out. The testimony said an excellent spirit was in Daniel, an excellent spirit was in Esther. An excellent spirit was in Aholia. An excellent spirit was in them all. Masata Yabakoro Boskuri. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mama Makanda Rabasuri. Reko Sondo Robo Shinda Babakuri Basaila. Mosoto Robo Sonto Yorobo Skuri. Reko Sinda Makuri Mosondo Robo. Release, release me. Release me from my boundaries. Release me from my boundary. Give me a license. A license. A license. Mashata Yababa. Korobo Surya. Some of you are reading law. Why do you think you will get anything less? What does it take to become a son? What does it take to become a son? Who will begin to plead cases at a level of intelligence that nobody could withstand? Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon. Release this court. Release this court. Release this court. Release these courts. License them for excellence. License them, Lord, to bring a change in this generation. Masata bakoro boskuri. Ma 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 ma. Sanda rabasuri. Rebo sondo robo sunda bakush. Mesunda buri masando robo shinda bababa. Lord, 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 from this morning, cause the spirit of these young people to hate failure, to hate mediocrity, to hate ordinariness. Let them become carriers of the divine presence. Carriers of the Spirit of God. Carriers of the glory. Carriers of the glory. Mama Makanda Yabakorobuskuria. Father.
Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. 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 Rasata ya baba baba. Oh baba sanda ya baba baba. Raba sanda ya baba baba. Kosoboro boshinda baku. Kira kasando robo sombo robo shinda baku. Iriba sanda raba shiri. Some of you are here. You are, I want you to step forth your hand. Those of you are lecturers. You are, you are fit for nothing less. You must be the best. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's for the kingdom of God. You have to be the best now. You've got to reach out to be a professor in the next two years. It's not for you. It's for the church. It's for the kingdom of God. Spread those hands and say, God, I'm receiving a license. A license to make a difference. A license to turn things around. A license to silence unrighteousness. A license. A license. Kabayata Kori Bosuri. Shemba Baba 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 Baba. Riba Sondo Robo Suri Alabashiba. Ribo Kotoso Borobo Shiria. Masuta Ruba Sanda Yabakuria. Yes, 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 now. Rako Sombo Robo Shiria. Ideas come only from God. Insight and revelation, knowledge and understanding, they belong to God. They belong to God. They belong to God. Look, this is not about, I don't want anything. It's not you. It's not you. Jesus needs a voice. We need a voice. We need a voice. We need provost from among you. We need vice chancellors from among you. We need the governors among you. We need, we need, we need wives of top leaders. We need career women. Masato Robo Sondo Robo And it's not for you, it's not for self. Is for the king. Is for the king. For the king. For the king. Roko Sondo Robo Shiba. Riba Sando Robo Sombo Robo Shiba. Raba Baba 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 Sanda Baba Sando Robo Shiba. Roko Sanda Bakuri Masanda. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Listen. I want you to listen. Listen. It pains me today that Wale Shoyinka, who is the Nobel laureate that Nigeria produced, does not believe in Jesus. He believes much more in the Ifa. The whole world is celebrating a man who has rejected Christ. Where are, that? Where are, the, where are Christians who have studied literature? What makes you to think you couldn't place Jesus Christ at that height? I want you to reject mediocrity today. Boko Sondo Robo Shanda Baba. Ruba Sataya Baba Baba. Robo Sondo Robo Shiba. Resataya Bakuri. Some of you have been lecturing in English. Why wouldn't you create stories? Authentic stories. That we become textbooks for Africa. That we bring about the principle of Christ. Ah, my God. My God. My God. 
my God. Daya kaba ba 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 ba. Raba sando robo shembo robo skuri. O robo sanda ba 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 ba. Robo sando robo shina ba ba kuri basa. Rebo sata yaba. Raka ba 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 ba. Sanda yaba kuri alaba. Rebo sando yo robo sanda yaba kuri. Father, this has to change. This has to change. This has to change, O、oh、God. A court for the king. A court for the king. A court for the king. A court for Jesus. Ba 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 ba. Rasata ba ba kondo robo shiba. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. 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 Where are your men? Where are your men, O、oh、God? Where are they tied? We must lose them today. We lose them today. We lose them this afternoon. We lose them. We lose them. We lose them in the name of Jesus. Takayaka Borobosku. Parabababa. Yataba Korobosku. Samboroboshemba Korobos Kamba Korobosh. Siba Baba Baba. Yataka Baba Baba Baba. Robosontoroboshiba. Riba Santa Baba Koroboshinda Bakuria, Robo Sondo Roboshinda Baba, Sambo Roboshenda Bakoroboskanda Bakoroboskai, Kababa Baba Baba Koroboskila, Yanta Kababa Baba, Raba Baba Baba Sondo Roboshiba, Robo Sondo Roboshinda Bakoroboskai, Robo Santa Baba Koroboskinda Bakoroboshinda Bakuriba Sai. Ah, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, release me. Every one of you must ask God to release you this afternoon. To release you, release you. Mama, 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 Sando Roboshi, Rebo Sanda Baba Koroboshi, Ruba Santa Baba. Rebo sondo robo shinda bakuri masai. Raba baba baba sando robo shinda bakuri. Ribo sondo robo shekama mama. Rabo sanda ya bakuri robo shiba. Lord Jesus, listen, listen, listen. Many of you, you are afraid. Because you thought it's for you, it's not for you. That professorial chair is not is is for the king. I need some of you to enter the senate of your universities now, for the king. I need several of you. To enter into an international record, that the whole world will be saying there is a man there. But when we sent for him, they said he had gone to church. That Jesus Christ is the reason for his success. Listen, listen. When Brother Dennis was talking of. Of the kind of trouser he was wearing, that trouser was called JB James Brown. There was one man called James Brown who designed it, and it swept all the youth. Some of you are reading design and applied arts. What makes you think is incredible for you to begin to say, "God, I want to dominate." The fashion design of Africa, with something that is wholesome, 
that is correct and that is godly. What makes you to think that those of you that are in medical uh, medical uh, department in the faculty of medicine or in the college of health that God couldn't give you insight into what had been so difficult and impossible and that the whole world will gather I said this, there's only one resource person and it's located in Nigeria. We need to get him to instruct the rest of us. And because they have no alternative, they will do it at your own terms. When Daniel got all of that, he still sat at the gate. It was not for him. It was for God. It's for the king. When Esther became the queen of the biggest empire in the damn world, not for her, it's for the kingdom. When Mordecai became the man in charge of all the provinces, he only spoke and saw the welfare of the people, not of himself. I'm looking for people who are saying I'm a coach for the king. That the reason why I need to excel is not for me. It's not for me. It's that righteousness has to be established. Some of you are reading political science. Some of you are beginning to read law and you are, there's a course on legal drafting and you are not taking it seriously. You do not think that tomorrow we will need you in the House of Assemblies to write bills that will change, change the governance of our land. If I have space, I would have loved to show you William Wilberforce dealing and fighting against slave trade in the house. It was a terrible, it was a serious political until he got that thing down. But here we are in Nigeria. Unbelievers write bills. They will have set up the agenda. Then we just come to be praying against the problem that we have created for us. Because we were not there to set the agenda. When Mordecai and Esther rose, the king told them, write your own. Set the agenda. You, can't, you don't need to be struggling with what others wrote. Write your own. That's the principle. So this afternoon, you are going to take this last point of prayer. A quote only for the king. When you will get first class, and several of you will get first class from here. I want, I want it will happen. That's, that's, that's what you have said for now. The children that God has given me, they are for signs and for wonder. Some of you, you are hearing this too late and you are saying, ah, I'm already on the borderline of 2-2. But as you go back now, you are moving to 2-1 in the name of Jesus. How many of you know that if you come out with a 2-2, job market will be difficult for you? How many of you are beginning to discover that if you waste all your years around and you graduate at 30, you may never get a job because they're only looking for between 21 and 25 now, 26. And you as a Christian, you cannot adjust your age. You can't tell lies. That's why you can't, 
you can't be writing jam three, four, five times. Those of you that are planning to write jam, you are going to determine from here. I'm not writing that jam twice. And I'm not getting 170, 140. I'm going above 200. So when they are calling post jam, I must be one of the merits that they are considering. We want, it's not for you, it's for the king. It's not about your name, it's about the king. It's about Jesus that needed to write a quote into this nation. And into the nations. So we are going to pray. This is the final point of prayer before you do any response. Lord, I am a quote for you. All about me, all my achievements, all that you are going to release me into is going to be for you and for your glory. Can you tell the Lord like that? I'm a court for you. Now it's no more for me. It's not because I just want to get money. It's not because I just want to be anything else. Now I'm on a mission. Now, Lord, my life must count because you need a voice. You need a voice. You need a voice. Lord Jesus. Koroboshi. Santa Bako. So, let's go straight like this. Uh, okay, look at that uncle. Let's come to them. Just go straight. Don't look back. Don't turn around anymore. You have left the junction. You are now on a great journey with God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Please give him a a bigger clap. Because what will happen as a result of this meeting, nobody can predict. What will happen with these lives? Please give Jesus a bigger clap. A bigger hand of applause to say, God, thank you. Thank you for what you are doing in our day. Thank you for how you are going. And for you, yourself. I want you to give Jesus a clap of me because you are released. You are released. You yourself, you are released. You are released from mediocrity. You are released from conflict, from confusion. You are released into your destiny. You are released into a new beginning. A new dimension. A new dimension. Continue to give him a plan for the future. Marabasano Roboshiba Rakuskaba Yempopoposono Roboshiba Rakasanta Bakori Boshiba this is a new beginning of a new Nigeria, of a new nation, bearing the King of Kings, where righteousness is going to reign. Your courses will turn around from here. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Anointing for excellence. Anointing for skills, for understanding, for discoveries. Is falling on you from this moment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you. We know that heaven is is at work already. 
And as we continue to watch the rest of the day, the impartation that is needed, the license that you are beginning to release to these people, these brothers, these sisters, these young ladies, these young men. We have talked of big gates, we've talked about all those kinds. And who are they? They were just mere men like ourselves. Lord, we thank you that we will do valiantly. Through you, we shall, we shall push down walls in the name of Jesus Christ. Barriers shall no longer be barriers to our lives. Mountains will no longer be impossible for us to climb. With Christ in our vessel, we smile at every storm in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah.